did that. Things that I did, that. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new vlog in 2024. 2024? 2024. 2024. Crazy business. But um, welcome to a brand new vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tolly, but you can call me Auntie Darling. One of one, one, two, none, the only one. <laughs> um, yo, 2024. Crazy. But um, hi guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Um, what it is Tuesday? It's Tuesday today. Um, I don't know if I don't know how long this vlog is going to be because I don't have a lot of things planned. I'm actually planning things so that I don't sit in the house because I don't know if this is only me, but the first, the first week or the first sorry, the first second week of the year, I like to spend time with God, but I just feel like. It's a bit hard for me now because I feel like if I, if I was home in Nelspur, it was going to be easier because, you know, I'm surrounded by my my mom is there, her son is there, you know, I have somebody to talk to and whatnot and whatnot. But because I'm alone here, yeah, it's a bit hard because I'm even trying to not be on social media and stuff and that's proving to be a bit hard. So I'm just watching movies, watching, um, watching vlogs and stuff. But like I said, it's the first week or month of the year i don't know how you do it because we're all different as individuals but i like to spend time with god the first week and um pray for the year pray for the things that i want pray for just pray for the year in general you know what i'm saying so yeah that's what i do so yeah um we that's what i'm saying i don't know the span of the vlog how long it's gonna take but i hope it doesn't you know but because i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> but anyway welcome to 2024 guys it's it's been a ride 2023 was the most messiest year of my life but 2024 i was actually speaking to sammy i'm like friend 2024 feels a bit personal you know it feels a bit personal and then she's like maybe it's because we're turning 30 and i'm just like mm, i don't know i don't know with me personally also because you know, giving my life to Christ and stuff like that. I just feel like it's going to be a good year. And you know when you say something because you want to trick the universe. But the universe is like, you can't trick me. You cannot trick me. Yeah. But, yeah, I wish I wish everybody an amazing year. Um, What is that green light? Oh, I wish everybody... What is that green? What is that? Do you guys see that? But anyway, I wish everybody an amazing year. And I wish all your heart's desires come true. I wish the Lord locates everybody, you know, because last year he was fetching all of his kids. But yeah, also I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if I showed you on the, I didn't show you on the previous vlog, right? But I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if my camera can stand. So yesterday on my Instagreasy, you guys see me? Okay. So yesterday on Instagram, I uploaded this. Let me show you. I uploaded this um, book and my Bible and this little note right and a lot of people are like what is this for how do you read your bible guys i'm gonna be completely honest with you when it comes to my bible i still don't know what i'm doing but thank god for my mom because i can't ask her anything but personally i still don't know what i'm doing i'm supposed to it's um it's um it's okay it's half past 10 i haven't i have a zoom meeting at 11 o'clock i'm supposed to be sorry i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to my bible i think this is where the bible um app helps me personally because every single day there's a verse that you can read today the craziest thing today is it showed me or rather it told me that something about friendships because there's 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 just something that's happening so it was like i don't know if you read your bible verse those that have it today is tuesday the the 9th of jan if you have the Bible app that I gave you guys, you're going to know that today it spoke about friendships. 
today on the 9th of jan it spoke about friendships and i was just like oh damn so i had to yeah whatever so a lot of you guys were like how do i read my bible honestly speaking i don't know yet how to read my bible properly because you guys know i'm very fairly new to this but what i do is with the bible app that i have thank you god if you if you're going through a particular situation or you're going through something say you're going through loss you just go and type loss it's going to give you all the verses about loss if you're going through heartbreak you just go and type heartbreak it's going to give you all the verses about heartbreak if you're going through divorce you just go right divorce and it's going to give you literally every single thing that you think you're going through the bible app will help you with it you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm just like i don't know how to read my bible yet because some people i tried reading from i i said because there's also plans that you can do you can just go to your apps um the app and then you say plans and then you write down say maybe 365 days of reading your bible when I was reading that Bible, I couldn't understand what was happening because it was taking me from the Old Testament to the New Testament. And I'm just like, it's just too much for me. So I rely on the daily Bible verses that it gives me. But also, I'm currently on a plan now where I'm doing the, 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 the my time with God, the seven-day one. So every day, it gives me a devotional and it gives me a verse. And I've realized that these things come in handy. What do you call these things? I don't know what you call them, but I placed them in. I got this book from PA, by the way, guys. I literally just died because it was pink. My Bible is pink. These things are pink. My pen is pink. Oh my god, pinky pinky, my dad. So I write, I feel like this year when I read my Bible, I want to write down the key word or the key something that I read about currently i i wrote i don't know if you can see that but it's written resisting temptation and the other one was self-control so far that's what i've read right so every time i read a verse and i i um what's the word i read it right i use the soap method so you have a scripture and then after that there's your own understanding about it and how you're going to apply it right so when I read a word or I read the verse and then it tells me that self-control is one, two, three, you have to do self-control and whatnot and whatnot. That's how I know that if ever I'm going through something or maybe next week I go through something that requires me to have self-control, I'm going to go back and see the little notes that I wrote here that I'm going to be like, okay, cool. Let me go remind myself about self-control. Let me go remind myself what God says about self-control. You know what I'm saying? So that it's easier for me to navigate everything that I've read. I feel like it's kind of pointless you writing down the things that you read yes but you don't go back on them you know just to understand yourself more you know what i'm saying so that's how i read my bible and like i said if i'm going through something i'll just go straight to my bible app and write what i'm going through and it's going to give me verses about that and then i'm going to pray about it you know so um today i was reading about resisting temptation it the it told me everything about ways to resist temptation staying spiritually alert and pray so that you do not fall into temptation it 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 really i think more than anything because this year there's a lot of things that are going to change about me or about my life and there's going to be a lot of temptations because i do not want to find myself i feel like i'm at a point where sinning i'm so scared of it that whenever something little even small i'm just like oh my god please help me you know what i'm saying so also this year i've chosen a lot of things like i said I, i'm not gonna share much but me saying resisting temptation you should just read between the lines of what exactly what i mean you know so yeah that is how i read my bible that is how i put everything into perspective for me that is how i um i don't really use this bible i only use this bible when i go to church because i don't want to be on my phone right because i feel like the bible app that i have has everything i need guys every single thing i need so also when you type down the verse it's easy to just find it but this one you have to look through it you have to go to the index and then you know so i only use this one when i go to church because i don't want to be on my phone you know what i'm saying so when they ever say a bible verse i'll just go to the index look at the verse where it's at and then go open it but yeah this one my hard copy bible is literally for church and then the one on my phone is for everywhere i can be anyway and i'll just take out my bible and read it you know so yeah that is how i read my bible and i hope you guys also put it into your own 
Bible reading method. I don't know how, but yeah. Also, we have a meeting now at 11, like I said. I had three companies or talent agencies or management companies, if you may, that have approached me. Somebody wants to be my manager. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work because I only had a manager once and didn't work hard because I, I think with me personally, I like to do things myself, you know, and also, yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but I just feel like I like to do things myself. So I don't know how it's going to pin out. But there's just going to be so much that's going to be happening this year in terms of work that I actually think I need management, you know. Because my emails this past two, three, four days have been crazy. So that's why I'm saying work is going to be a bit of a mess this year. So I may need management. So we'll see what the first meeting or how the first meeting goes. Then we'll take it from there. And then after that, we're going to... Um, I need to get, get my god oh my my god i need to go get my baby my little girl um something and then i have to go deliver it to her house also lesoho got me something during december that was not delivered until now it only got here now so yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me there i'm not taking you to the house though <laughs> and then yeah we'll see how the day pans out but yeah happy new year guys happy new year this year is going to be one for the books <laughs> one for the books i don't know what's gonna happen and i didn't this year i didn't do a vision board i didn't do anything i didn't write down the things that i think i want in terms of the physical aspect of things in terms yeah i, I wrote down i need i want peace i want forgiveness i want what did i write down wait let me tell you i think more than anything i wrote down the things that are not tangible right where's my thing oh yeah there we go how did i write this thing oh okay i wrote joy peace patience kindness goodness self-control that's that's literally all i wrote I didn't write things that are tangible in a sense of I didn't write, oh my God, God, give me a Mercedes. Give me, give me this, give me that, give me love, give me a relationship. I did not write all of those things because I just feel like this year I'm just working on the element of surprise. I just want God to surprise me. I just want God to be like, here, yeah, you deserve it. Do I want those things? Yes, I may want them, but no. It's dating. Mm. Do I want to date? I miss it. I miss dating. I miss obviously somebody calling you, somebody telling you they love you. I miss all of that. Am I ready for it? No. Definitely not ready for it. Because I just feel like I still need to seek the things of the Lord first before I can actually be ready for a relationship. Also, I don't think I'm ready because the Lord didn't tell me that I'm ready. I'm still not ready. Like I said, do I miss it? Yes, I do. I do miss being in a relationship. I don't want to lie to you guys. I miss it so much. More than anything, I crave intimacy, but not the type where we're having sex and stuff. But like, you know, just sitting in, in, just sitting in comfortable silence with somebody knowing that they're there. You know what I'm saying? You know, the hugs. I just miss it, but am I ready for it? No. I personally don't think I'm ready for it because I have not yet finished seeking the things of the Lord. So, yeah. But in terms of anything else, my career pretty chuffed pretty chuffed i've been talking for 10 minutes let me stop um what time is it it's 10 39 the meeting is at 11 i'll see you guys now i'll let you guys in on a bit of the meeting but tell me why i ripped up all my lashes last night it's 10 58 let's get ready for this meeting hi hello hi Jimmy. how are you i'm very fine how's it going it's okay. You quite early. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm two minutes early as well, so that's good. Yeah, no worries. Um, Alright, so basically, we are on the National Entertainment Agency. I'm currently based in Nigeria. The Jericho is in front of our agency. He is based in Canada and he travels around. The two, or I, I can do more than I want to do because I'm, I'm a beauty lifestyle and um 
a youtuber i don't know much yeah. about influencing but so i don't want to be limited to one thing or am i supposed to be limited to one thing yeah so i don't want to limit myself to anything um so you can't review after i stop okay to me well, thank you thank you it was nice chatting with you all righty bye well that was quick <laughs> that was quick that was good um i'm going to get the contract and review it and see how everything goes um i don't know it's it's not management by the way it's it's a partnership in terms of they find work for me and then they take whatever that they take and then i get whatever i get right i don't know about that but we'll see we'll see we'll see i'm a, i'm very hard to please i don't want to lie to you because i'm so used to me getting a job everything comes to me now i have to share my money with somebody else and mind you this person will not be helping me fill will not be helping me edit will not be helping me do anything but you know so anyway we'll see like i said i thought it was management well the other two are management like they want to be my managers which is why i'm very scared because i i don't want to be managed i've never been managed but we'll see how it goes but anyway um it's 20 past 11. i'm gonna get ready now and we're gonna go to i need to go to i don't know i don't know guys i don't buy sneakers like that i need to go to nike i think because i need to buy my goddaughter's sneakers and then I'm gonna go see them. So let me get ready quickly and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, I'm done getting ready. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I absolutely hate these pants, okay? I hate these pants. This is the second time I wear them and I bought them like a year ago. I hate them. I hate how they look on my body. I hate everything about these pants. But I'm just wearing them because I'm just like, I don't kind of like what for what? But I just feel like this fit is cute, but I hate the pants. But I'm just like, I have to wear them because, you know. So I'm wearing these Alexander Wang pants. This is the worst designer purchase I've ever done. And I'm wearing this long sleeve top. I don't understand the weather today. It's just weird. And I'm wearing my um, favorite slides in the world, my Gucci slides. Then I'm going to wear my Balenciaga shades. I'm not wearing wigs, like I'm feeling my short hair, love my short hair, that's it. And then jewelry is just the normal things. I got these earrings from Sheen. And then for perfume, I'm gonna wear this Mont Blanc perfume. Love it. I bought this in Dubai when we came back from Thailand. And I have not I wore it yesterday and I was like, damn, this thing actually smells good. So I love her so much. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear. And let us go. <laughs> Guys, I don't know whether to go to Four Ways Mall or Centurion Mall. But my thing is, I love going to a place where I know that I'm going to get whatever I want and I'm out. Rather than going to a mall now, I have to keep asking around. Oh my god, do you know? No, I can't do that. So I think we're going to go to Four Ways Mall, get these sneakers, and then take the highway and then go to Centurion. So I think that makes sense, right? Okay, we're gonna go to four ways more. I need a size three. She's a size three, but the way Kopano is getting tall, hmm, I think a size three and a half will make sense. Uto kula na Yes, exactly. Hey guys, I just got to four ways more. Um, I'm using the Woolies entrance. That's my favorite entrance. Um, I hope there's a store close by. So that it's easier for me to navigate rather than having to walk around. I don't know if I'm gonna go inside with to maybe like get a little bit dress for her. Um, if there's one thing that I keep forgetting is that I have a truant cart and it is loaded with money and I don't use it. They have home stuff now? This is good. What do I even buy with my card? I only got this card because I had to buy something. They were like, you have to have an account. I have the account, but I don't buy anything. Okay, let's look for something cute. Let's go. 
Oh, this smells really good. Oh, this smells. Oh my god, this smells amazing. This smells. Oh my god, this smells amazing. This smells incredible. Wow, what is this? Yo. <laughs> Why are you not focusing? This is wild fake. It's not wild fake. Me and Kendall. This is what I want. I might just leave. You know it's irritating me. Nobody's coming to help me. Like they'd never do this to my skin. Paul would never. Like why are you not coming to help me? Guys, how cute is this dress? Oh my god. Is this jumpsuit? You're a liar. Oh, it's so pretty. This is so cute. I think I've not that I finally, but I kind of sort of clocked on. I kind of I'm clocking where my anxiety is stemming from, because I literally almost had a young panic attack right now. I had to call my therapist and be like, "Yo, it's happening." And then she was like, "At some point, you have to understand it, and I have to put you on anxiety meds." I've never taken that notice in my life, and I do not want to. But the way everything is set up, sorry. Oh, damn. The way my life is currently set up, and the way that this is happening more often, it's at the point where I'm gonna have to start being on anxiety pills, and I don't want that because I don't wanna rely on that. I think it's a matter of me having to like pray for it to go away because I've never had anxiety. I had it, but it's not like. It's like social anxiety, the one that all of us have where you're in a new space and you don't know people. It won't be to an extent where you get a panic attack. I'm literally getting panic attacks every other day now. And I think more than anything, it stems from that video that I did. Because, and I'm not saying this is a people problem. I think this is a me problem. Because I just feel like when somebody just looks my direction, I'm just like, shit, do they recognize me from somewhere? And I know some people will recognize me from mostly the YouTube videos and maybe from that video. But the fact that I just feel like when somebody looks at me, I'm just like, are they looking at me because they're judging me? Or they, Yo, son, it's just a lot that goes in. I literally had to go to the toilet and compose myself, call my therapist and be like, listen, you need to talk me through it. So I'm just like, that's not the life I want to live for myself. And it's definitely not something that I want. So I might have to look into the fact that I need to pray. Ah, na, na, na. I know she got no issue. Oh, no. Cowards. In your bed. The song made me weep. I fell in the pool of a bed. Oh, me, so bad in the day. I'm the man who looks at me. Ah. Oh, see. See, I But anyway. Like I said, to another person, it's going to be like, Sana, just get on the damn pills. No, I don't rely on pills. The same way I had to stop taking Adquadols for me to sleep, and it actually worked. Like, I used to take Adquadols every single day of my life for me to be able to, be, to sleep, but now I'm at the point where I schedule my sleep. 10 o'clock, my phone shuts down, d and &D, I force myself to sleep, even if it means I have to roll on the damn bed. The first few weeks were terrible after that my body adjusted i sleep at 10 o'clock now i wake up at three o'clock read my bible um pray four o'clock i'm sleeping until eight o'clock that is my schedule of like that is how i train myself so the same way that i can overcome using medication to sleep is the same way i can overcome my anxiety i refuse to be on meds for anything and as much as it's so crazy right now because i'm getting panic attacks every other day I refuse to be on meds. I don't want it. Like, I really don't want it. So, like I said. But anyway, um, I'm going to drive to Century now. I can't, I need to show you guys the shoes. They're so pretty. Let me see if I can put you here. Oh, my God. They're so cute. I got her these other Puma. A Puma or a Puma? How cute is this box? <gasps> they're so cute. Ah! <laughs> This is a size four. I'm almost certain they're big. They're gonna be big on her. But like I said, Uto Kula now, guys. Oh, this is so cute. 
<laughs> they have these little eyes at the back. Oh my god, Copana, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute, guys. I can't I can't wait to have little babies running around because right now, you know, saying tell us I six. Busana is a whole freaking size six and he's only going to grade four. Njel, you feel like grade nine. I told her size my babo. Damn. Hey loves. It's the next day. Um the last time we spoke it's Wednesday today, by the way. The last time why am I saying the last time because it was literally yesterday. We spoke yesterday, but remember I had to go to Lucille's house. To drop off a baby's gifts and i had to fetch my gift but she says that it's still at the store so i can go fetch it myself so right now i'm getting ready for a i don't want to call it a meeting because it really isn't <laughs> like it's really not a meeting it's just i'm meeting up with um the the owners of globe right because they want us to work on something so sorry so that's what's happening you know that's why I'm, i don't consider it as a meeting because i'm just seeing them it's raining guys i'm so happy i was just like i'm gonna come back home and just be in my house watch movies and series and stuff netflix this day is coming in hot with the series i don't know if you guys saw and one thing about it i hate watching series but the ones on netflix baby let me tell you they are good they are so good they are too good so um yeah that's what we're gonna do guys i bought lashes from she let me show you remember i said ah! remember i said this year i want to do my own lashes so I got lashes from Shein. These are the lashes. So inside is, let me show you. Inside is the lashes. Is it's the why are these tweezers and then the, the 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 glue. So I got these from I'll link them for you guys below. It's from Sanishi. They eight, 10, 12, 14 and 16 this 16 looks like the 20 millimeters i do but this one looks even longer sana you guys see them absolutely excited to come and do them i wanted to do them now before i go to my meeting but i was just like it's gonna take time and then next thing i'm gonna be late because i need to take my time with them so i'm just gonna put on mascara because i'm just like i don't want to put on makeup as well also i just want to not look cute but i mean look a little a little put together you know because i'm i just noticed that now that i don't have lashes on so now i'm just naked on my eyes and i don't like that but for somebody who ripped out their lashes like i have a fairly good amount of lashes left so i think when i come back from the mall we are going to do our our lashes together because if when i was checking my 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 bank statements i spent three thousand in two months on lashes i said no it's i said no it's because i i go for a refill every 10 days i don't wait for two weeks i don't like walking around the, with looking like my lashes are crazy so i go for a refill every two days and mind you my refill a full lash set is 600 my refill is 400 so plus that every four days every 10 days sorry 10 20 30 that's a month how many how much yes sis i said no ways because also i realized that with my individual lashes i ripped them out so that's why i need to go there every 10 days i was just like that's not healthy so with these ones if you just take them out it's not like it's gonna remove your whole thing also i don't have to pay close to three thousand for me to be able to you know what i'm saying so yeah that's why i'll be doing my own lashes from now on and pretty soon i'll be doing my own nails because now i do natural nails so there's no point in me having to do crazy stuff i look crazy but i mean i guess <laughs> so yeah that is what we're doing um i bought a perfume yesterday i forgot well i didn't forget to show you guys but i just came back home and i just relaxed you know 
guys it's really i'm so happy like nobody loves rainy weather like me because it just it just tells you to stay home you know if i wasn't fasting sana i just open up a cup now and just you know be blasting but yeah okay let me put this we're gonna do this when we come back from the mall because I, I need to go to call lego i thought you saw her bought me perfume but no sana she bought me a bag from call lego i said would your best friend ever <laughs> so i bought a perfume yesterday from truett because i have a truett account that i don't use i only use that account when i buy things for my mom and it's like i buy my mom like dh bags because she loves dh you know teachers love dh so i buy my mom dh bags and stuff like that so i was like let me buy myself a perfume because they literally keep increasing my what is it my spending limit because ow because i hardly buy anything from them so I went and bought this Coach perfume, Coach Dreams. It smells so nice. So I was like, let me get myself this perfume. Was there a need? No. But do I deserve it? Every single part of me deserves it. So this is the perfume. This is the 16 mils. Um, it smells really good. Like, I really like it. Coach Dreams. And you know when I bought it, I, was, I knew exactly which perfume I'm going to match it with. I'm going to match it with the, with the perfume that I got from this game. So I'm just going to put them together. And then, because I feel like they're almost, well not almost, but it, it's along the lines of, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, going, I don't know how much this was. Because, like I said, I don't use my account, so there's a lot of money there. So yeah, if you want to go get yourself this perfume. I mean, it smells like flowers. Or you can just Google Hybo. Oh, it smells amazing. You guys know me and the flowery perfumes. So, yeah. Oh, it smells good. Anyway, let me... I need to go get my sneakers washed. Because I, if, today would have been the perfect day for me to wear my Dolce & Gabbana sneakers. But they are so dirty. I'm not about to wear these sneakers. And I'm not about to clean them because there's actually no way. But anyway, um, let me see which sneakers I'm going to wear. That I'm going to give you guys a strip check. Because... Domes dust just saved my whole entire existence because tell me why they look clean. I literally just wiped them. Well, not you know, I just ran through them with Domestos and wow. Only the sole is like it has like skip marks or whatever. But let's put these on. It's ten past ten. I have to go to these people at half past ten, but it's five minutes from my house, so it's not a train smash. Guys, remember the last time my sneakers this thing came off it came off again this side i said you know what i'm not gonna take it to them because clearly it's a thing for them because i remember um thing another friend of mine was like mine came off as well i took it there once they fixed it and then it came off again i don't have time to take it there again because one thing about it they also they also take stay with the sneaker for like weeks i remember mine they stayed with it for like two weeks so i was just like hey you know what it's fine i'm wearing dose and i and Dosa and Gavash because wow okay there we go these are the most comfortable sneakers I own okay guys this rain can't wait to come back home okay let's go um drip check record me I'm wearing I'm wearing jeans um I just thought I'd look cute I'm wearing jeans from Levi's um, I'm wearing this top. I honestly do not remember where you got this top from. Like, I don't know. And then I'm wearing my Dolce Cabana slides. I'm going to wear my. What bag am I going to carry? I'm going to carry my normal errand bag. Right. And then um, for perfume, I'm going to mix this girl and this girl. I got this one from this game, remember? Bathe! One thing about me, I will bathe in perfume. <laughs> Guys, this rain is so crazy. Oh my god. I'm sure. Oh, let me wear my shades. I'm sure these shades, if you know. Let me zoom. Zoom in now. 
You know, fit. Oh, I'm sure these shades think I have died or something. When last did you guys see me wearing these shades? I'm sure you're gonna be like, these shades are still alive. Yeah, they are, and I have not worn them. I wore them once. My Versace Aviators? Are you crazy? Like, my Bottegas have taken over my life. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a break. I want you guys to be like, where the hell are the Bottegas? I'm gonna give them a break. These are our new shades from here on. Because my Bottegas need a break. Like, my girls need a break. My babies need a break. Guys, I've been meaning to go get... I want them so badly, but I'm just like, I don't like black shades. You guys know this. I don't like black shades. And the thing is, that frame will require you to wear it when you have, like, a full face on because they're so sexy. I really want the Celine shades. Let me show you which ones. I really want those shades. Oh, damn. I'm far, I'm in the car, and I don't have Wi-Fi. Hey! Bless your hearts. Do you see? Do you see them? These shades are so pretty. I need to start wearing them again. Like, I really need to start wearing these shades again. But anyway, let's go to... These are actually really nice. Okay, I'm gonna start wearing them. The only problem is, they hurt me here because of how strong the... Um, Lensing BI is a bit too strong for me. The Bottega shades are very... I don't want to say weak, because they really are weak. But that thing doesn't hurt me. So let's see how long I can manage with them. I also brought an extra pair in case these ones start hurting because I can't. But the Celine ones, I'll show them to you guys. They're too tired for. Because why did that meeting go so great? Guys, that meeting was everything. Do you, do you understand when I say everything? That meeting was everything and more what time is it now i got you at half past 10 what time is it now it's close to 12. like that meeting was everything i'm so excited for this year is gonna be a good year man this year is gonna be an amazing year so um i'm on my way to well now we're gonna go to santon city so i can go fetch my Focus. Why are you not focusing? I'm on my way to Santon City to fetch my um parcel. As I say, parcel, parcel alarm. You know, when black people, you owe them something. They're like, little parcel, I live with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way to Santon City to fetch my parcel, and then, and then after that, um. See you guys when we get there. I need to pass by Woolies as well. So there is a Woolies here, but I'm just like, I already paid for my card. That's the thing. So, guys, being on your period, you I, I hate it so much. And I'm wearing blue jeans. I wanted to wear black leggings. I need to go buy black jeans because there's no one's gonna come to a meeting in black leggings. So, I'm wearing blue jeans now. When I leave that place, I feel like, did I blow for my like, did I blow myself? Why people looking at me like that? You are, uh, uh, uh. I even came in the car, started checking because wow. But anyway, um, let's go to Santon City. I'll see you guys now. On the shoe of the God. Are you stupid? I'm gonna die if they fit me. <gasps> I'm actually it's perfect. Oh my God, you're lying. I need to put both of them on. <gasps> Oh my god. So now if you want to check. Are we having this? a Cinderella move? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Take it from your end. Serena. Are they not perfect? <laughs> oh my god. And they make my butt look bigger. That makes sense, right? Of course. It looks perfect, honey. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, tell me why I came to GMG. I shouldn't have come here. But we're in Dolce and Gabbana. 
Of course, God wants me to buy something. Guys, remember those shades that we all made a decision oh, I'm gonna buy them? I came back for them. They finished. Oh no. Gem L. <laughs> Think about you guys. You absolutely hate it when I don't update you. But, um. What's this? I left Gucci and then I'm on my way home now. I'm done for the day. It's 20 past 1. I have to eat um, my lunch now. But yeah, we're done at the mall. I'm going to show you guys the things that we got from Carl Lagerfeld. And I got a few things from Moody's. But I didn't vlog that part because... petting them Patla, guys. The Patla was having me. But I can't believe that I'm going to Gucci again and they still don't have that shoe. Guys, I'm not gonna stop until I get that sandal. Let me tell you now. Hey loves, we're back home. I have a slight headache because I'm hungry. I really need to make food and eat. But um we're back home. I need to see. I need to see what the circle got us. I think it's a it's a t-shirt, I think. I think. I don't know. So it's called Fold and it's written preview. So I'm like, what is this? Is it a t-shirt? Because whenever I travel, I use my, my, oh, this is such, this is such a cute traveling bag, a beach bag. This is such a bag. And then you, oh my God. Oh, thank you so much, Bess. This is such a cute bag, guys. This is such a cute bag. There's like a beach bag, a traveling bag, but obviously we all know I'm going to have it. Because it's giving, the material is giving travel i think also if you know the tote bag from mark jacobs it's giving the same material oh my god this is so cute I th i'm gonna wear it at the back because i feel like the brown part is gonna get dirty easily because it doesn't have legs to stand on so when you put it down you put it oh this is so nice guys this is a i don't know if this is a christmas present or whatever present this is for my best friend but thank you so much my love i love it so much but we are back i had the most amazing meeting with mr Vern. he is part owner of globe right and good things are gonna happen this year trust me and believe good things are gonna happen this year and then also i went to dng because i wanted those those gold heels guys tell me about those shoes are thirty thousand. You know, I had to wear them and put them on just to feel them. But thirty thousand for a shoe. First of all, it's a size. It's my size, yes, but it doesn't completely fit me properly. Also, they're not super stable. I love how that guy was honest. They're not super stable. Like it's a shoe. So you, you leave your car, restaurant, leave the restaurant in your car. Can't be walking around like a crazy person. And then another thing is, I'm paying thirty k for a shoe that is not stable, that doesn't even fit me correctly. I don't want to let you, I reconsidered it, but I'm just like, if I put an additional 30, that's my, whole, that's, that's my Diana. Because I need a Diana. <laughs> By the end of this year, I need to have a Diana mini. Like I need it. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go check if they have my shoe at Gucci. Guys, that sandal is giving me sleepless nights and I'm not going to stop until I have it. They don't have my size. They had my size, but Garabo, 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 if you're watching this, Garabo forgot to tell me that they had my size. And the thing is, they have a size 8 and maybe they have two size 8s. 
people want to buy it quickly because they want that slide you know what i'm saying so now i'm just like girl if they get that size and you don't tell me i'm gonna scream also they didn't, thank god they didn't have the diana because i was about to buy it <laughs> they don't have the color that i want i want the white one with the red strap and the back oh, Guys, the day I buy a Diana will be the last day that I own any bag in this world. Okay? It's just not there. But I don't know if I want to do my lashes or not. Let's let's tie our hair. I don't know if I want to do my lashes because I'm scared. But I really want to do my lashes. I really, really do want to want to do my lashes. So hi, 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 my same fan a yogi. What the hell is this? What is no 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 so these are the lashes guys I just feel like this 16 is a 22 because when I went to Ghana I definitely put a 22 I don't know if I should let my lashes grow because my lashes are not that bad I want you to see them I hope you can you see they're not that bad they're not bad at all like at all at all you see so i'm just like should i do them should i not do them because i really do want to do them am i supposed to clean my lashes let's read the instructions i said curl your own eyelashes remove the eyelash and apply a small amount of glue gently glide lashes to remove excess glue gently slide the real lashes with the glue on false eyelashes and glue the false eyelashes one millimeter from the root of the real eyelashes my only problem is why must they be underneath why aren't they on top that's my only problem why are they not on top why must they be underneath so i i don't get that aspect of things but okay so they have size 8 size 10 size 12 size 14 and size 16 I think I'm going to do an 8 because this 8 looks like the 15 that I do. So I'm going to do 8, 10, 12, and a 14. So I'm a 16. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to clean my brows? My, my lashes, sorry. Where's that glue? How do I do it? This is step one. Instantly bond lashes within seconds. Step two, lock in beauty by seal, by, by seal the clusters in place. Ah, why am I not sealing? Remove the eyelashes, curl your own lashes, right? Remove the eyelashes and apply a small amount of glue. Where's the glue? Oh, this is the point. I, I need to go on TikTok to see how they do this. Place it on, it sticks on right away because this glue is just that good. Is there an no millimeter lashes for more of a doll eye look? And the moment I start seeing the lashes stick to the actual like lash tool that I'm using, I clean it with baby wipes. And to make sure the inner corner of my eye doesn't get irritated, I go in with 10 millimeter lashes. I didn't really like the look of the shorter lashes towards the end of my eye, so basically I added more glue and now I'm going to stack longer lashes so 16 millimeter lashes for more of a cat eye i'm also reinforcing the glue on the cluster lashes just to make sure everything sticks well then i use the back of that tool just to push everything into place because you don't want your lashes to start falling from the bottom and i got something new that i was really excited to try out this is a lash bond and seal i only used a seal and this seal is so good it just looks clear throughout the entire time it sealed like it did what it was supposed to do so i'm really happy with this and i'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the other eye i scratched the whole lash it's dull eye look was okay so i need to go wipe my eyes i'm gonna get wipes now just to wipe my eyes because i have to to first put the bond and then the seal Okay, my eyes are clean now because i want volume on the cat eye situation i think i'm going to take two 14s and stack them together or maybe stack them after i'm done let me just first put them and see how i feel about it okay i'm gonna open the pack oh my god i'm excited okay this is how it looks out I'm going to take the bond I feel like this is a bit too much 
Okay, what do I do? I put it on my... Do I put it on my eye? Okay, wait. This girl on TikTok said I put it on my eye. Wait. Put this on your eye. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. Okay. And then take the... Okay, I'm going to take 14... Why is it not coming out? Oh, I tore it. Okay, I'm going to add this because I want my lashes to last. Do I blow it? Oh, guys, it's sticking. Okay, I'm gonna do another 14. Okay, let's do another 14 at the end. Okay, um, 12. These lashes are a bit too, like they stuck down so hard. Okay, 12. Oh. oh my god this is hard <laughs> this is so hard yo this is hard let me put some glue some bonding glue yo this is oh my god this is hard guys this is hard jesus Oh, this is hard. Oh, this is... Why are you not sticking then? Uh-uh, <laughs> this is hard, guys. This is, this is hard. And this thing is sticking now. Damn. Okay, let's try my other eye. We'll come back to this one. Let's try my left eye. Don't put too much. Okay. I'm gonna get this no matter what. Okay, put glue on here. Yo, my arm is even so. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Okay, where's, where's, where's another 14? Okay. Okay. Um, 12. doing 12 now we're doing 12 now okay okay another 12 
Okay, this is a 12. Guys, I'm actually shaking. Okay. Okay, um, um, ten, ten now, ten, ten. No, I want this ten. Ugh, why did I keep tearing? Yo, the way they stuck this glue on, it's stuck too hard that it's tearing the lashes. Fuck. Okay, ten. Ten. Okay. Another ten. Okay, another ten. Ugh. Okay. Now we're doing eight. Okay. I'm shaking. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? <laughs> oh my god, it's so natural and cute. I just have to stack them on. So I did 12, 12, uh, I did 14, 14, sorry. 12, 12, 10, 10, and 1, 8. They look so nice. They actually look good. I'm gonna stack them on with. I'm gonna like add a bit. I'm gonna add a bit more. This one is a bit too close to my eye. <gasps> I took them both off. No. No. I'm gonna stack them on. Okay, I'm done with this eye. It's now time for the seal. Hi. Do I let it dry? But that's how it looks like. Sorry. <laughs> Did I see it? Did that. Things that I did? That! How long did it take? Five minutes. I'd be sitting, I'd be sleeping. Oh my god. I think next time I'm gonna try 16. <gasps> this is too good. This is good. Let me do the other eye of camera. I need to master this before I can come on camera and be like, oh my god. Too good. Too damn good. It's a bit. 
it's still trial and error because it's my first time but i feel like once i get used to it guys i'm never going to go to my lashes are you serious these are so natural so ish, this one is poking me here at the end that's why i'm saying trial and error but i feel like i will get them right at a second attempt Woo! I will get them right soon but this so at the end i used I'll take it out a bit so at the end i used um i used 16 i thought the 16 was going to be longer but it's actually it's actually good so i used 16 and then i put two 16 two 14s two 12s two 10s two 8s so one layer i did um the first layer i did 14 okay let me tell you first layer i said 14 12 10 8 and then second i said 16 14 12 10 8 so the se the first layer was 16 was 14 12 10 8 right four and then the second layer was 16 14 12 10 8 so i stacked them on the second layer even this side so that's oh, let me let me put down my head so I can see them properly. You know, so I can so I can see them. Oh, this is good. Chomi, this is good. This is this is excellent. Wow, 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 wow. The only thing now that I need to find out is if I can like reuse them again if I take them out. But this is it. This is good. I'm so proud of myself. How much did it cost me? Zero rands in my house. Guys, you see I'm saving. In Funam Cities. Wow. Do we like them? I love it. I love it. Compared to... Because I always do like... Oh my god. This is good. They look like my natural lashes. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Sana, this is it. Yo, I get. This is my life from now on. Now I have to learn how to do my nails and baby, I'm done. Like, I would never used to understand why the girlies did everything themselves until now. Like, it makes sense to do everything yourself because things are getting ridiculously expensive. Like, I remember I was having a conversation with my other friend, Ta. She's like... I have to do my makeup when I go out. Somebody has to do my makeup because I don't know how to do my makeup. Somebody has to lay my hair, nails, lashes, crazy business. I'm just grateful that I can do my own makeup and my own hair because I would have died. But anyway, this is how everything came out. Love it so much. I hope you guys love it as well. And you're going to go... This should tell you that I was going through it. <laughs> this, this should tell you that I went through it okay this these are my battle scars this is my battle wipe but yeah i'm gonna put these away um now let's say you see from the ones i used so yeah a lash babe or what i'm so happy i'm so proud of myself this is insane this is crazy they are so beautiful they're not long but I just feel like for the aesthetic that I'm on right now, they make perfect sense. Oh my God. I want to put you guys in one more time. Do we like her? We love her, right? Featuring my freckles. I'm obsessed. Done 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 so yeah i will link these down below for you guys if you want to go and get them for yourself so easy but i'm almost at an icon eh, eh, what's you call this place uh, these are clusters but with clusters clusters i feel like the head is a bit too big that you won't be able to put them on your lashes but these these are perfect because it's very very thin and you'll be able to work with them oh my god these are so beautiful these are so pretty 
these are so pretty i'm obsessed i love them so much it's giving missus it's giving clean girl it's giving less is more you know so yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you do enjoy this vlog and you learned a lot and i will link my bible that i got from take a lot also i will link these lashes for you guys as well but um i'll see you guys soon and happy new year let's have an amazing year let's have a great year no more crying this year only tears of joy only tears of joy are the only tears that we are going to cry so yeah i love you guys so much bye my darlings Oh,